This video will show you how to use your SurePal, a special device that's just for your Omnitrope. This video uses a green SurePal, but depending on your prescription, yours might be white or blue. No matter what colour you have, all SurePals work the same way. Together we're going to show you how to use yours. Wash your hands, then take your SurePal out of the refrigerator, where it should be stored inside its hard case. It's recommended that you take the cartridge out of the refrigerator for no more than 30 minutes before your injection and put it back right after you inject. We're going to show you all the parts of your SurePal. Take your own SurePal apart as you follow along. You'll have to get your own needles and Omnitrope pre-assembled cartridges. When you have them, you can store them in this SurePal hard case. Let's begin. This is an optional needle hider. You can use this if you don't want to see the needle. Take it out and put it on the table. Take a needle and put it on the table next to the needle hider. This is a pre-assembled cartridge. The hard case has a space for an extra pre-assembled cartridge here. Take the pre-assembled cartridge out and put it on the table next to the needle. Now pick up your SurePal. Take the cap off and put it back in the hard case. You won't need this again until the end. Now unscrew this part which is called the locking ring. Put the locking ring between the needle and the cartridge. And last, put the SurePal body down on the table next to the cartridge. So to review, we have the hard case, the pen cap, the needle hider, a needle, the locking ring, a pre-assembled cartridge, the SurePal body. And don't forget, you'll need a sharps box for your used needles and disinfectant swabs for cleaning the cartridge and your skin. Start preparing SurePal by setting the dose memory. To open the dose memory lid, put a fingernail in this notch and push up. It's usually easiest to use the nail of your thumb. Underneath the lid, you'll see a wheel with notches and some numbers next to it. Turn this wheel to set your dose memory. To set your dose, ignore the numbers next to this wheel and instead look through this window, the one with the lock symbol. Look through this window as you turn the wheel. This window shows you the dose you're setting. Stop turning the wheel when your dose appears in this window. If your SurePal is green or blue, the dose goes up by 0.1 with each click of the dose wheel. Uneven numbers are not shown, but are indicated by dots and a dash between the next highest and next lowest numbers. For example, this is 1.5, which is between 1.4 and 1.6. If your SurePal is white, the dose goes up by 0.05 with each click of the dose wheel. Where actual numbers are not shown, they're indicated by dots and a dash between the next highest and next lowest numbers. For example, this is 1.55, which is between 1.5 and 1.6. When the window shows your dose, close the memory lid. Make sure it closes with a click. Your dose is now set. Now that the dose is set, it's time to load a pre-assembled cartridge. You can follow the steps in the instructions for use, or you can follow the steps shown here. Pick up the pre-assembled cartridge and the locking ring, and drop the pre-assembled cartridge with the small side down into the ring. Holding the bottom of the cartridge, rotate it gently until it drops down into the locking ring and doesn't twist anymore. Then pull it gently until you hear or feel it click into place. Hold the locking ring in one hand and pick up your SurePal with the other hand. Then screw the locking ring with pre-assembled cartridge onto the SurePal body. Make sure the half circle on the locking ring and the dot on the SurePal body line up. Pick up a disinfectant swab and clean the end of the cartridge. Put the SurePal down, then pick up a needle and peel the cover off. Pick your SurePal up and hold it by the locking ring. 
screw the needle onto your sure pal. Take the outer cover off the needle and save it for later. Do not take the inner cover off yet. You should now decide if you want to use the optional needle hider. You don't have to use the needle hider, but if you do, you should attach it now. This video shows you how to inject using the needle hider. If you're not using it, you should still follow these steps. Gently turn the dose loading knob at the end of your sure pal until you feel resistance. This means you've reached your preset dose. Be careful not to force the dose knob beyond the point of resistance. Check the dose window to make sure the right dose is loaded. This example shows 1.5, but you should make sure that your dose is in the window of your sure pal. If the dose in the window is not right, take the locking ring with pre-assembled cartridge off your sure pal. When the locking ring is removed, push the sliding button. The dose will reset. If necessary, you should reset your memory dose to the correct dose as shown here and twist the dose knob again to the correct dose. When the right dose is loaded, put the sure pal down and get a disinfectant swab. Select an injection site and clean it with disinfectant. Use a different site each time you inject. If you're using the needle hider, pull the sliding sleeve back with your thumb and finger. Then pinch the inner needle cap and pull it off, then throw it away. In the spot you cleaned earlier, pinch a fold of skin with one hand. And push into the fold of skin. If you're using the needle hider, make sure the bottom movable part is pushed all the way in. When the needle is inserted, push the sliding button down with your thumb. You'll see the dose knob at the end of your sure pal turning around. Hold the sure pal and the sliding button down for 10 seconds after the knob stops turning. Now check your dose window. If the dose window shows 0.0, .0 and the triangles in the end of the sure pal line up, your dose is complete. If the dose window does not show 0.0, .0 this means the cartridge is empty but your dose is not finished. Your sure pal knows how much you still have to inject and you can finish the injection with a new pre-assembled cartridge. If you've used the needle hider, remove it by pulling it straight off. Whether or not you've used the needle hider, the steps are now the same. Carefully attach the outer needle cover that you took off earlier. Holding the sure pal by the locking ring, unscrew the covered needle. Immediately discard the needle in a sharps box. Never leave the needle attached when storing sure pal and never reuse a needle. Leaving the pre-assembled cartridge on your sure pal, reattach the pen cap and put your sure pal back in its hard case. Your sure pal and cartridges should be kept cool between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius, so put the whole case in the refrigerator. When the pre-assembled cartridge is empty, you'll need to exchange it for a new one. This can happen either after an injection or during an injection. You can tell that your pre-assembled cartridge is empty after an injection if the grey stopper is at the far end of the cartridge by the needle. If this is the case, remove and discard the needle. Then unscrew the locking ring and push on the end of the pre-assembled cartridge to take it out of the locking ring. Discard the empty pre-assembled cartridge. Put a new pre-assembled cartridge into the locking ring as in Chapter 1. You can then reattach the locking ring with the pre-assembled cartridge to your sure pal, put the pen cover on and return your pen to the hard case. Your sure pal and cartridges should be kept cool between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius, so put the whole case in the refrigerator. If the pre-assembled cartridge runs out of Omnitrope during an injection, the dose knob will stop turning before the triangles at the end of the sure pal line up, and the dose window will not show 0.0. .0. The knob and dose window will tell you that the cartridge is empty, but your dose is not complete. 
Follow these instructions to complete your dose. After taking the needle off, remove the locking ring and push on the end of the pre-assembled cartridge to take it out of the locking ring. Discard the empty pre-assembled cartridge. Put a new pre-assembled cartridge into the locking ring, as in Chapter 1. Attach the locking ring with pre-assembled cartridge to your sure pal. Pick up a disinfectant swab, then clean the end of the pre-assembled cartridge. Prepare a needle as you did before. Peel the cover off and screw a new needle onto your sure pal. Take the outer cover off the needle as you did before. This time, do not twist the dose knob. Your sure pal knows how much is left in your dose and the knob is already set to inject the right amount. Without touching the dose knob, inject as you prefer, with or without the needle hider. Finish by removing the needle, putting your sure pal back in its case, and putting the case back in the refrigerator. Then you're done.